Hello YouTube! Come to you from the uh, tool shop today. Tool shed today. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to show you uh, something new I've got. A friend of mine uh, gave it to me uh, as a present. Thank you, Chris. And uh, and uh, we tried it out a couple of days ago in the forest and uh, it was uh, it was freezing cold but it worked out just fine um, without leaving you hanging there it's a um, it's a polish lavu um, it's, it's it's not actually uh, it's not a tent it's a uh, uh, what do you call it? It's it's uh, what's the word for it? Raincoat? No. It's a poncho. Maybe it's a poncho. It's made of canvas. A very strong canvas. And this is this wonderful smell of uh, army surplus. <coughs> um, but. It's two ponchos, not one poncho, it's two ponchos or raincoats going together to form a tent. And uh, it's, 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 it's awesome. And it's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy as shit. Uh, the entire... Uh, two of these ponchos, one level, uh, weighs three and a half kilos. So... But it's... Um, it's, it's something very different from sleeping in the tent of this uh, lightweight nylon. It's simply a different uh, sensation. How to explain it? If you, you simply have to try it. Um, this particular one is from uh, 1982, I think. So it's it's rather old, but it has never uh, it's never been in the field. Uh, when I first unpacked it, it had still uh, uh, loose uh, threads and stuff from the factory. So it's never actually been in the field. Uh, it's just been lying somewhere in a cellar somewhere in Poland for the last uh, thirty years or so. So it's a cool piece of kit. I had to go on YouTube and uh, and look it up. Polish lavu, just try that. Um, it's it's rather popular and and people uh, done some awesome modding jobs to this. Uh, um, I'll show you a short a short movie and uh, some still photos from our trip to the forest. Uh, where we, we didn't do any mods to, to them at all, and uh, we didn't uh, give them a uh, uh, waterproofer. Uh, waterproofing? Uh, I'll have to do that. Uh, because uh, when it gets wet, it, it doesn't rain inside, uh, but it, 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 it soaks the water and it gets heavy, very heavy, and when it's freezing outside, it turns to ice, <laughs> and you sort of live inside this eclo, which is a good thing, unless you have to move it, or, or, or take it down, to take it home with you, um, that's rather difficult, anyway, uh, I'll do a review on that, I'll do an overnighter, and bring you guys along, but uh, I just wanted to show you, and uh, the movie and the stills coming up. Uh, and I already made some small modifications. These uh, small pieces of uh, paracord. Let me untangle this. Uh, I think they are simply going to stay permanently on the lavu because I'm not intending to use it as a poncho. It's simply, it's, it's too heavy compared to modern ponchos. I made these with a nice knot 
on the end. You can see that. Uh, and they go through these, these holes, yes, uh, like this. There are actually three ways to do this. One way, like that, uh, it will pull uh, the lava down to the ground, but it will flip this edge upwards. If I do it the other way, something else happens, the edge goes down, as you see there. So this is way better, it is at least the water away. Um, for storage or transport, I'll simply put it like this, then it won't run away. Huh? I think that's a good idea. I hope so. And I want to show these. These are, of course, come in two bags. These are the tent packs and the pole to put in the middle. Um, they come in two bags because there are two ponchos, two guys carrying this stuff. So, aluminium, uh, awful tentex, these uh, thin wire stuff. I'll, I think I'll have to modify that as well. But, stuff is coming up and it's about the Polish lava. Uh, looking very much forward to that. Oh, and hang on for a second, you'll see some stills from our uh, overnighter in the forest and uh, it's a short movie what a lava looks like when it gets wet and then freezes <laughs> and it hasn't been uh, uh, hasn't been waterproofed uh, like I'm going to do very soon very soon so hang on for a second and watch that So yeah, that was uh, that was rather cold, and I have to think about um, upgrading my uh, sleeping bag or sleeping bag system, so to speak. Anyways, uh, that's. What I'm looking forward to do, uh, that will be the next next thing for you guys, and also for you uh, knife nuts. I know you're out there. Uh, I showed you this a long time ago. It's a medium stockman. Uh, it's a German medium stockman. You all, you guys know what this is. Alright, you guys are only here for the Polish lavu, that was it. The next one will uh, be more about the Polish lavu. Uh, the rest is about uh, this uh, knife. I'll, I'll try to keep it short, okay? Right. Medium stockman. Very nice knife. This is uh, main blade. It's a rather small blade. Pointy point point. And... Sheep's foot plate, almost like a, uh, don't have one here, like a Stanley blade, utility blade. And there's the Grissi uh, Uh In English, it's a spade blade. Uh, I don't know, good for nails. Well, actually, it's for neutering. Anyway, this is a middle stockman, a medium stockman. And now that the Danish knife laws have been changed, finally, I can legally carry the uh, full size stockman. But I don't have one. 
I'm very very happy about this knife pattern. The size and the feel and the classic look and the old schoolness of it. Um, so I'm going to get myself a full size stockman. I'm hoping to do a video on that as well when it arrives. Um, yeah. So two things, two two separate things to look forward to. So until then. Uh, Take care.